Can anyone in the comments section tell me what trail this is? Anyone got a clue? Let me know in the comments if you think you know what it is. What I'm going to do is show you um, a clip of me laying three trails worth of muck with this trail um, without messing about with it, without furrowing, without rolling the muck, without doing anything and just getting on the wall and getting the bricks in the wall. And then I'm going to put a video of me laying how we've, how we was taught at college to spread the muck V it out, turn it over a little bit on the board. Um, I can compare the two, two and I'm going to put them next to each other and we'll see how they both do against each other. I just watched that back. I'd laid five bricks before I'd, just as I laid my first the other way, uh, the traditional way, so to speak, uh, the way we're taught at college. I'm not knocking it, there's nothing wrong with it, but if you're on price, don't bother. It's not really not worth it. You get the same end result, but for, if I, if I laid seven bricks before, I lay three the other way, then, you know, every 700 bricks at that height, you'd have only laid 300, or I would have only laid 300 using that technique compared to the other one. And when you get your wages, and when you do your booking in and you're on price, you know, I know what I'd rather be doing. I mean, it's common sense. You know, I'm I'm not messing about with it on the wall. Uh, it, and it, the only thing that you gain out of it, out of veeing it and furrowing it and turning the muck over, the only thing you gain out of it is a visually good looking technique. That is all you gain out of it, nothing else. Um, you still get the finished diet, um, d desired effect from doing it without messing about with it because the f flat side of a brick is the same as a flat side of a trowel. So using the brick to do what needs to be done instead of the trowel, and you're putting the brick in the wall. So, you know, everyone has got their own techniques and there's nothing wrong with doing what you're doing, but if you're trying to achieve a good amount of numbers in a day to make some good money, then furrow in, get rid of it, um, perping at the board, because everyone says, uh, you know, if you perp your brick, if you're, a, if you're someone that perps off the wall, then as you take your brick over to the wall, you're gonna get more muck on the floor from perping your brick as you're going across. So, perping it on the wall to a certain height, because once, once you get to a certain height, you need to stand straight on anyway, so that then that gets, you, you can't really perp on the wall anyway. But for a certain height, laying like that is very fast. But once you get to like hip height, you need to be changing, like I change back to pick and dip after I get to a certain height. Um, but when I'm laying low, I do like to lay like that. Uh, I've got a book here, it's called Motion Study. It's a very good read if you're interested in becoming more efficient at bricklaying. I studied this book in and out. Um, it talks about loading out. It talks about, uh, it even talks about the clothes that you're wearing. It talks about everything. Um, I'll show you the book. Motion study, a method for increasing the efficiency, efficiency of the workman. Um, it is, I mean, I've got some pages in here. Uh, for so here we have um, pick and dip method. So this book was written in 1921. It's a very good little read, uh, and it and it opens up your eyes. 
but yeah, anyway, it's a really good little read and it's well worth buying. Um, if you're someone that wants to be efficient and earn as, you know, a good amount of money. Efficient doesn't mean fast. Efficient means consistent and doing your job right. Uh, I try to be as efficient as I can to make a good amount of money. You know, I went home at 20 past two today. I've done over 1200 bricks and over a hundred blocks. So, you know, most bricklayers can't even do that by six o'clock um, and they're there all day where, and I'm not tired, I'm not knackered um, because I'm trying to be as efficient as I can. I'm not wasting time. I'm not doing moves that I don't need to do. And it, it, so many people out there make life so hard for themselves because bricklaying is not an easy job. It is a hard graft job. But with people that eat junk, drink all weekend, and then go to work and wonder why they feel like shit and their bones are aching and everything, that's not all to do with bricklaying. Don't get me wrong, you know, laying concrete blocks all day every day is gonna take its toll on your body, but not as quickly as the people that drink themselves stupid at the weekends, which I was one of them, and I started to feel pain in my joints from it and not eating the correct foods. Because we are athletes, whether, you know, take the piss all you want, we are. And the ones that do really well are the ones that take good, after, good care of their body and take good care of themselves. You know, you don't see some fat fucker running in the Olympics, even if they can run, it doesn't mean that they can run well, does it? Just because they can run, it doesn't mean that they can run well. If, they're, if you're gonna fill yourself with shit, you're gonna feel like shit. So being efficient at work, is a, isn't just about technique as well, it's about taking care of your body. Also, trowel sizes. I'm using this trowel for a reason, and it's not because it's my daily trowel that, that I use. I'm using it because I'm doing a speed uh, practice run on, this, on Friday, and I'm gonna give it a go, because it's, it's an hour race, and I just wanted to practice with it just to see how I fare with using this to how I did uh, on the race on the actual day to a smaller trail like this. Uh, this is the trail I'm using at the minute. It's the Bon, uh, 10 inch. It's not a bad little trail. Uh, it's not something that I'll be using forever, but I got given it, so I thought I'd try it out and it was actually quite a nice little trail. So this is the trail that I usually use in the day. Obviously it's gonna take more time to get well, I say that, but you can move faster with it. There's a sweet spot with trowels of too big and too small, depending on the technique you're using. If you're doing like a long bed, you need to find that sweet spot. I would say for a long bed, personally, uh, a sweet spot is probably 11, 33, 9. Uh, I don't like, I used to use the Philadelphia pattern when I first started, and I actually prefer the narrow, London now, which is the 33, I think it is. Narrow London's 33, I'm pretty sure it is. 33, not, 33, if I'm doing a long bed, it'll be a 33, 10. That's a 33, 10 basically. That's a 33, 13. Uh, you can see the size difference. But that extra weight around here on your forearms and on your wrist, it is not good for you. So do not ever use that trail for daily use. I'm gonna be, I'm just waiting for the muck to come up. Should be any minute now, it's eight o'clock. For anyone that says it's not full. Yeah, look, watch. So what happens when you put it over the top? Like that. All right, take this off. There you go. And that is your perp. Full.
Right, so I got this wall done. I got this back section through here done. And I managed to get this block work wall done down here. Tom was a bit all over the place today, but he just took this four courses and this four courses. It's gonna to have to clean up a little bit, but it weren't a bad day. I think it was over 1,200 bricks and three, four, six, eight, 10, 100 blocks, 100 blocks, 1,200 bricks. Right, I'm off skis. That's enough for me for one day.